Hello everyone. We will continue that topic drop down list in module pool. And as a part of that, we created that table. We maintained that data in that table. We created a module pool program and we designed, yes, input output fields. Then we converted into drop down after that. And when we choose the drop down, we have two options at that point of time list box with key and list box. So, firstly, I will show you the difference between both of them practically. Then we will proceed further. Suppose, firstly, for the state, we are taking list box with key. So, firstly, I will create a transaction code. We all know that we, whenever we want to run a module pool program, we always require a transaction code. So I will create a transaction code. I will give some name to the transaction code. Suppose I will say Z. Suppose Okay, state underscore region. I will give some shortcut. I will write transaction code. I will pass the program name. I will go for screen number. I will go for all the three checkboxes and I will save. I will save it as a local object. Now I am running this particular program. I will go for execute in new window. Now for the first drop down, we took list box, list box. So you, we took list box with key, sorry. We took list box with key. So just see how it is. We have the key also. We have the values also. Key is what? G-U-J. Key is what? H-A-R. Key is what? M-A-H. What are the values? Gujarat, Haryana, Maharashtra. So whenever you are going for list box with key, so it will show you the key also. It will show you the values also. Suppose if I will simply, simply change it to list box. If I will go to layout. Now I will go for list box only. So it will only, only show me the values. I will simply activate. It depends upon customer how they want is. Yes. Now you can see we are only able to see Gujarat, Haryana and Maharashtra. And now many people think is yes, how, how these values came in the drop down automatically. Just simple. When we created the layout element, we simply gave table name hyphen column name. So then we selected yes also yes it should bind it with the ABAP dictionary. So this particular table, this column, if I will go for this particular table, this particular column, this column has this data element, data element has the domain, in the domain we have the values. So these values automatically came there in the form of drop down. Now we will start with the next part of the requirement. Now what is the next part of the requirement and that will be a huge learning now. Suppose I am running the program. Now I will run this program. Now, what is our requirement now? Whenever we will select Gujarat, it will only show the regions of the Gujarat. Whenever we will go for 
particular Haryana, it will only show the regions of Haryana. Whenever we will go for Maharashtra, it will only only show the regions of Maharashtra. It means whenever we will select suppose Gujarat, we will go to our table, we will fetch the regions for the Gujarat and we will bind with this particular field. Suppose if I will go for Haryana, then we will go to our table. We will fetch the regions for the Haryana and we will bind here. Whenever we will go for Maharashtra, we will fetch the regions for the Maharashtra and we will bind with this particular field. So it means we need to write the query to fetch data from this particular table. This is our table. This is our table. Based upon what? Based upon this particular input. Based upon the state input, we will fetch the data from this table. Then we will bind with the region field. And this, now we will start with the logic part. Now, first, most, most important thing among this whole topic itself and yes because of that many times we will not get the expected output suppose if i am running now whenever you will select a state whenever you will select a state based upon the action of the state we need to fill the region and it's a golden rule, golden rule. Every, every function, every button requires what? Function code, function code. We have not given any function code to the state. Based upon the function performed on the state, we need to fill the region. It means we need to give the function code to the state. It is compulsory. And we saw so many participants. They will did everything right. But at the last, they will never get the output because they have not given the function code. If you will not give the function code, how, how your process after input event will trigger? It will not trigger at all. You, if system is not recognizing your action, then how it will trigger PAI? It will never, never trigger process after input event. Yes. So we will simply give the firstly function code. Do not give function code to region because we are not going for any functionality based upon region. Based upon state, we are going for region. So it means we need to give function code to the state. Suppose simple. If rather than going for this, if you are creating one button, suppose many times what customer is saying. I will select the state from the drop down. Then I will go for a button. Whenever I will click on to the button, then regions will display. It means in that case, you need to give the function code to the button, whatever the button you are creating. But in our current requirement, we are not going for any button at all. It means based upon this selection of the state we need to fill the region so we have to give the function code to the state itself so i will give the function code to the state i will simply double click i will give the function code to the state suppose i am saying submit if you are going for a separate button, then in that case, you can give the function code to the button, but that is compulsory. I will go for save. I will go for close and I will activate up to this level. 
now you all know very well whenever user will select the state it means user is performing the action we assign the function code so at that time which particular event will trigger process after input so we i will simply uncomment i will double click yes i will go for new include i will go for yes and i will activate now based upon the state we will fetch the data from the table firstly we will fetch the data from the table now i will simply simply create a structure first we all know whenever we will fetch data we need to put into internal table so i will firstly declare a structure begin of ldy underscore data and we are only only going for a structure of one column because we only want to fetch the region so i will write region type data element of the region now i will simply go for end of structure i will declare internal table and work areas now i will write work area now i will write a query select we want to select which column region from i will pass the name of our table we will store into internal table into table internal table what is internal table lt data now what is the where condition where state because input is state and input state check in the layout what is the input field what is the input field of the state we gave table name hyphen column name so i will simply simply write where state is equal to this we all know input is on the right hand side i will get a syntax error so i will simply simply import this table using tables statement tables i'll check the syntax and activate up to this level so what is the summary of this particular video in this video firstly we understood what is the difference between list box with key and list box in case of list box with key it will show you the key also in case of list box it will only only show you the values after that most most important part we covered never forget to assign the function code in our scenario we are not taking any separate button so function code needs to be assigned to the drop down of state if you are going for separate button assign a function code to the state assign that function code to the button of that particular state button of the state then after that we simply uncommented the pai module and we have written the logic to fetch the data from this pair state underscore region table and yes our data is in internal table our data is in internal table in the next video we will learn 
how to bind this data with this region field whenever we will go for run now whatever we are whatever that data is in that internal table we need to bind here that part we will continue in the next video thank you